The poppet is basically a valve that is actuated when you strike the poppet actuator with the mallet. Most issues with the poppet are the result of other parts failing. Debris from other parts, such as a failed piston, can cause damage to the faces of the poppet, causing it to leak. Replacing the poppet is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. I'll use a large screwdriver to pry the bumper away from the actuator. Next, I'll remove the top cover. Next, I'll remove the actuator. There's a gasket between the actuator and the poppet. I'll go ahead and remove it. Now I'll remove the screws that secure the shoe and the driver guide. Now use a screwdriver to remove the bumper. With the bumper removed, now I can remove the driver and piston. As well as the poppet. Now I can transfer the O-ring from the old poppet over to the new one. Now I can drop the poppet back down into the cylinder and install the piston assembly. Followed by the bumper. Now reinstall the driver guide and magazine onto the driver, making sure it aligns with the cylinder, and I'll slide the shoe over the magazine. And now I can secure these parts with the screws.
Now reinstall the actuator gasket. Now install the actuator. The actuator can be a little difficult to align. As you try to install it onto the plunger, it'll tend to want to push the entire assembly down. So the easy way to do it is to use a small pick, insert it through one of the holes, and use this as an alignment tool to line it up with the threaded holes beneath it. Press it into place, and now you can install the screws. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the cap and the actuator bumper. <laughs>